OK, so in this video, I want to introduce you to parametric integration. So what you'll be used to with integration so far is having a curve that is defined by y as a function of x. OK, so here's your curve y, and you'd be integrating between two values, a and b. And what you can then say in order to find that area is that you can integrate y with respect to x between a and b, OK? However, what if the function, or the curve rather, is given uh, parametrically? So what if we've got x as some function of t and y as some function of t, OK? What if that is the case? Well, it is clear that uh, what we can do is we can find t values that will give us the correct coordinates for a and b. Okay, so there will be a t1 and a t2, which are going to be equivalent to where a and b are. So in that way, we can integrate between t1 and t2. Okay. Now, as for the y, well, we know that y is some function of t. So we can write that as that function g of t. Okay. However, the dx, we can't integrate uh, a function of t with respect to x. Okay. Really, we need to be integrating with respect to t. So in order to deal with that, what we could do is we could have dx by dt, dt, in order for that dx uh, to um, become, substitute effectively, to become dx by dt, dt. Here you can kind of see how the dt's would cancel out, leaving you with a dx. So this is equivalent. So you could rewrite this, the dx by dt, as f prime dt, uh, f prime t. So this will allow you to perform parametric integration uh, between two values of t, um, where x is f of t and y equals g of t.